Ouija! This is a new horror film about a board game. That's right. And it's produced by Michael Bay. That means it's going to be great. Um... <laughs> So someone's best friend dies, and everyone thinks that she committed suicide. However, there's more to the story than people are realizing, and most of it seems to be revolving around this Ouija board that that girl had found. Her friends find this thing, they decide to use it to try to get in contact with their deceased friend, and then everything goes wrong. As I said, Michael Bay produced this movie. Now let's look at the track record that he has had in the past in regards to producing horror films. He produced the remake of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake of Amneville Horror, Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning, the remake of The Hitcher, The Unborn, the remake of Friday the 13th, and the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. After reading those titles off to you, would it really shock you that much if I told you this movie sucked? It sucked. It's a movie about a board game, okay? <laughs> Watching this movie, I tried to get in the mindset of the writer. What were they thinking? And I mean that in a serious way. Well, the movie's called Ouija, so obviously we have to have some Ouija board playing in the movie, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so how many times do you think we can tangibly make these characters play the Ouija board before everyone calls BS on them because so much weird crap is happening? Well, probably like three or four times. Okay, so we'll have like three or four Ouija board sessions in this movie, right? Right. So what's going to happen when they're not playing the Ouija board? They'll talk about the Ouija board. They'll think about it and we'll have shots of it. They'll go to school and their jobs and, and they'll, they'll just kind of... Crap, what are we gonna do when they're not playing the Ouija board? That's what this movie feels like. In fact, I learned that a large portion of this movie was reshot, which makes a lot of sense. Because once certain things come to light in this movie about what's actually going on below the surface, about what this thing actually wants, none of the movie makes sense anymore. See, there are great twists in movies where you begin to look back on the movie, rethink the entire thing, and that's an awesome and very smart thing that a writer can do when he turns the tables on you and the rest of the movie still makes sense. The twist in this movie cheats more than a dumb bully in grade school who's flunking math. The entire film doesn't make sense anymore once you actually learn what's happening. And since I do my best to keep my reviews spoiler free, I will warn you that after I give my grade for this movie, I'm going to quickly discuss said twist and why it sucks. All that being said though, this isn't an offensively bad horror film. You can sit and probably watch this movie. You'll be bored. It won't be very entertaining, but it's not gonna make you hate yourself. It's actually a nice looking movie. It's well shot. It's a sleek looking picture for the most part. The screenplay is so stupid though. There are so many laughable lines between these characters that by the way are just the most disposable horror characters on the face of the earth. The best part of this movie is like it's opening 10 minutes by far. I mean the rest of the movie after that is just a downhill ride into oblivion. It's a stupid movie that's barely scary. It's a bunch of loud noise is the only time I even jumped in this movie was when somebody was there and it was their friend, the light turned on and a loud boom noise. Oh boy, I jumped, that's scary. It's not scary, <laughs> stop with that. It's not fun, it's not enjoyable and it's not frightening in the least. It's just a sound effect. I'm gonna give Ouija a D plus because it is a nice looking movie. The opening 10 minutes were effective and it's not an offensively bad movie but you do not need to see this movie at all. So as I said, spoiler warning for the big twist in this movie. For the entire movie, you are thinking that they are in contact with a young girl who is trying to warn them about her evil mother. And their friends are being killed, supposedly by this mother. Like, they're dying, okay? And our main character is told that she has to find the body of this little girl and remove the stitches from her mouth so that she can be free. So the little girl can finally combat against her mother, the evil spirit that's bothering them. Once she cuts the stitches and frees this little girl's body or whatever, you figure out it's actually the little girl that the mother was trying to warn them about the little girl. And then all hell breaks loose and people are dying left and right. But my question is, who was killing their friends before this? If the mother's not the bad one and the girl who needed to be freed because she was trapped is actually the bad one, how were people dying before? It doesn't make any sense. If she's trapped, how is she able to kill these people? The entire movie doesn't make sense anymore. I'm sorry, screenwriters. Do you have any respect for us as an audience anymore? I do not regret the decision I made before I saw Ouija. 
I purchased a ticket for John Wick and walked into Ouija instead because I knew I had to see Ouija. And I wanted to support John Wick, not this crap. Guys, seriously, go see John Wick. I saw it. It's amazing. I saw it twice already. I loved it. Definitely check that movie out. That movie deserves your support, not this. But there is some good news to all of this. My sponsorship with Shutterstock.com has continued. They're a very cool website that has stock images and stock photos, very high quality stuff that you can legally use in your short films. A lot of people have asked me about critiquing short films. I know personally that a lot of independent filmmakers have a hard time getting things like shots of LA or shots of New York, things that they need in their movie to sell the location. And because of their sponsoring my videos, you can go to shutterstock.com right now and enter the promo code Chris and get a discount on your subscription. How awesome is that? These guys are great. This is a really cool service for independent filmmakers like myself, like you guys, if you're into that, because I do know a lot of my viewers are trying to make independent films and they have a lot of really great stuff you can check out on Shutterstock.com and enter that promo code Chris for a discount on your subscription. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you did see the movie, I really wish you hadn't, <laughs> but let me know what you thought below. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>